Hello everybody and welcome to today's hallway session and today we're going to deep dive into what is the difference between casting and throwing the club and which one do you actually want to do and which one don't you want to do. All right so we've all heard those terms and I want to kind of rejig it a little bit and set some new expectations of what the terminology is. So casting the club is what we obviously don't want to do. We've heard this it's basically being up here and then we're just kind of casting the club at the ball. We're letting it overtake our hands and that leads to scoopy shots, fat shots, high shots, inconsistent shots, right shots, all the kind of shots that you don't want to see. So throwing the club is a different one because, you know, some people, if they hit a bad shot, they throw the club, which also we don't want to do. But there is one way of throwing the club in the golf swing or a feeling of throwing the club as if you were to throw the club. That's actually really going to help you in the downswing. It's going to help you get compression. It's going to help you get good contact and a couple more yards out of that shot. Okay, so the throwing that I do want to see in your golf swing is actually this. When you go to the top of the backswing, and this actually prevents casting. Who knew throwing the club can prevent casting? <laughs> the, the context is huge in this one. All right, so as we're going back here, I want you to feel like you're taking that butt end of the club and you're throwing it at the camera, at, right behind you, where you guys are. So if I was outside and if I didn't like my tile floor so much and my walls, I would throw this club now. I am not going to throw this club now, but I want to show you, I want you to almost throw it out this way. So when you come to the top of the backswing, I want you to feel like you're throwing it out this way. You're throwing it that way. So almost like you wanted to stick it in the ground. So ideally the club would then travel this way and kind of stick into the ground and you can do this with an alignment stick outside where you really feel like you're up here with an alignment stick and then you're like boom boom and what that does is it creates lag it's actually the opposite of casting so watch this casting is this right where your club kind of overtakes your hands and lag is the definition of lag is keeping this angle for as long as we can in the downswing so now if we feel like I'm going to show you this here. If we feel like we're throwing the club this way, right, this way, what happens? You see how that club head starts dropping towards me? How this actually increases. This angle increases. So the lag increases. And it's exactly the opposite of what would happen if I were to cast. So at the top of the backswing, feel like you're throwing the butt end of the club into this wall, creating more lag. And that's going to help you keep that lag coming down. It's going to look something like this. Up, and throw. Up, throw. Up, throw. Up, and throw. And then you're really going to feel a lot more connection. It even creates more connection here from your right elbow and your right arm into the downswing. And that's awesome. So I love this feeling. If you're struggling with poor contact, with no compression, with scoopy shots, like high, right, always kind of bottoming out before you actually hit the ball, give this a try. And as a bonus tip, make sure as you're doing that, you really feel like all of your weight is actually transitioning to your front foot in the finish. That is big. So you're throwing the back of the club behind you and you're really finishing your swing on that front foot and you can pick up that back foot. Nobody needs that back foot in the finish. It's just decoration. All right, everybody, I hope you love this tip. If you're missing compression and if you're missing these couple of extra yards, give this a try. This goes for any club and I really can't wait to hear about it. Leave me your comments below in, in the section if you want to let me know how it went and also if you have any recommendations or questions or asks about other tips that you want me to do. I'm always here. I'm here to answer your golf questions inside the hallway and outside.